So Arteta said, I think the other day, he was here for four years. He has information about how basically Manchester City maybe do the same kind of fouls and time wasting and everything that Arsenal um, did against your team. So what do you think about that? Because he's your friend, he was your assistant, seems a little bit of a betrayal of, I don't know, trust or information. Did he say that? Yeah. What did he say so specifically? I was, there, I was there for four years. Yeah, you're right. And? Well, it was, like, it was, it was to a question about his tactics and the time wasting, the sort of fouls. The implication was, he didn't actually say these words, but the implication was, yeah, I've been there for four years and, you know, I know what goes on there. The same. Well, next time Miguel has to be more clear. May I ask you then, you, you're not aware of him saying that at all? No, next time has to be more clear exactly what does it mean. What he said, he was here for years and, and uh, we know exactly what happened here. So because can be related and, you know, in uh, all the process now with 155 charges, maybe it's about that. He know the information about that maybe or maybe have something like, I don't know, because uh, really next time I have to see more clear well, exactly this is kind what of happened. Point. I, think he, I think he said it in this way on purpose. I think he, he left it hanging to sort of cause people to think, oh, what does he mean? And maybe cause you a, you know. Okay, next time, like a good relation I have with him, hopefully this question has been asked. I can answer exactly what does it mean when I said he was here and I know what's happening here and, uh, and there still to be clouds there to be more precise. And I said, no, 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 because we spoke with X after the game and that's all. Um, Pep, just, uh, just back on Rodri, you've had some big injuries before in your in your time here and you've you've always managed to find solutions um obviously memorably i think in the 1819 season you lost fernandino for maybe most of the last three months and gundawan came in there it was great you won the last final 14 premier league games kevin five months last season harlan two lots of other seasons aguero do, do you feel though with rodri out for pretty for the whole season early on that this is maybe going to be your biggest challenge in terms of finding a solution to a major injury to a key player in the, in the seven years you've had a everybody everybody knows even our opponents how happy they are uh, everybody knows in the mindset now realize that Rod is part of the fundamental for many many things and many process that is the truth but we, what can we do we complain and said, I'm so sorry. When Roddy come back, we start to fight again. I had to find a solution as a team. Me as a manager to the players, okay, these are important players, otherwise we have not played them. Thousand million minutes that, you know, played and consistent, you know, is recovering and whatever. So, but we have to move forward, move on. So, um, we cannot, so when we lose this, because we have to find a way and we are going to find a way. I'm so optimistic of myself and my team, and we're going to find a way. That's for sure. We're going to, to knowing that he's, he's an important player, but as you said, Fernandinho was in that time, and Sergio had won him many times, of Kevin had been out many times. Kevin was one year injured, almost six, seven months. A lot of time injured, 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 and he didn't play much, and we won again. So yeah, we had to find a way. We had to find a way to to do it because the team is good, the players are extraordinary in terms of, of mindset and, and and togetherness and we are going to try to do it. And do you think it's quite important that over the next few weeks especially you show you can cope because I mean opponents opponents might look and see no Roger yeah, and that play. gives them a big, big lift. No, I understand yeah, for the opponents, I understand that uh, but that we play four games this season without him and we want it and uh, and of course it's important but even we won a lot of games we will be missed. We will be missed but we have to try to do it and when we lose a game okay, so we'll not be specific for Rodri. Rodri is replaceable for that we have something that is difficult to find but not here in all around the world so you say, okay, Pep, you have money to buy a player like Roddy. It's not in the market. <laughs> this, this is really, really good. But it's what it is. I'm so sad for him because he don't, nobody deserves it. He, he needs it. But it's what it is. I do. Hopefully surgery went well and time, recovery. And, and with the players that we have, because this is the challenge, you know. At the end, that team needs this type of challenge. 
the opponent's gate. I said, let's press conference. So we, we don't expect everything will be smooth and comfortable and easy for everyone. There is no team that will be more beaten than us here in England. So we felt it, we smell it, that uh, mm, again, City, mm. they don't like them, you know, at all. So we respect that, okay. So without the problem, okay, but let's go, let's, let's try it. Hi, Pat. Is uh, Erling all right for this weekend after yeah. going away this week? And um, he was pretty fired up against Arsenal on, on Sunday. Um, did you like that, that extra side of him? I would say that sometimes the emotions are so there when you are, you know, Garia said perfectly in the press conference, so after the match, so this is a war. We have here to provoke the opponent, to push them. And at the end, what can you do? So we have to, okay, you provoke me, okay, I'm there. You want a war? I will war. So what do I have to do? And after the motion, there are the motion. So I'm pretty sure he's not proud. But listen, the type of challenge that Arsenal challenges, I understand it. Well. Um, when you have such a, a, a big blow to, to a key player, I know it's obviously personally very, very sad for, for Rodri, but does it affect the morale of the overall group to lose someone so key for, for such a long time? And does it also yeah, affect your morale? I will ask her. You know the morale when Oscar was injured in the precision. Of course, Rodri is another step for what happened in these years. But when one guy is injured, we're so sad. But at the end, he knows we are there now. We'll be a long time in Madrid with his family, recovery there with the doctors, officials there. When we come back here with our one upper arms, we will be more than, you know, we'll give him more than welcome to come back to us. But yeah, and after that, you have to, okay, what for game? We have to play, you know, and now Newcastle, we're going to Champions League and after uh, Fulham home and yeah, and have to see what happens. Because obviously, it's one thing dealing with the Rodri missing the game in a, in a physical sense, what he brings to a team. But how do you how do you lift a dressing room that are having to deal with one of their key players? We have a huge there? personalities in the dressing room, and Rodri is one of them by far, but another qualities. And every, every, everyone had to make a step forward, you know? When you have these type of players, step forward to, to do it more. It's, it's what it is. It's, everybody knows impo how important it is, how important Rodri is for us. Everybody knows it. So that means we have to do extra, you know, to replace uh, this absence for a long, long time. Pep, you were talking about the um, about January earlier. Is how difficult is it going to be to find someone that is like for like that can play in that position? Because it, it seems like the club have been looking for two years. Exactly. Right now, I'm not thinking to find anyone. But the scouting of the department from Chiki, of course, they are always connected. To the players, but we are I'm nine men. I don't find like, this team. But that I said, so the January half time, and maybe the situation. So I feel we need something, and maybe the opportunity is possible, not possible, and we take a decision. So, so with Rodri fit, we will not absolutely think about that. But now we see. Now I don't, I'm not able to take a, a decision right now. First, because it's not possible to do it, and second, because I want to see my team how we react all together. Do you think it's sort of long term towards, you know, as we get into January, February, later on in the season, it's more likely that one of the existing players, someone like Bernardo Silva maybe, alters his position on a more permanent basis if you were to play sort of two in midfield? I have I have solution. I have, players can play in that position. Can play. Ah, there's a long ball, she's present to win the ball, the transition's offensive, defensive is the best. So we cannot... I said to the long balls, Rodri win now, we're going to lose. Lose, 10 to 10. With Jolinton tomorrow, we're going to lose. But it's not a problem. As much as are far away, ready for the second, big load Jolinton. We'll recover maybe four, five, six seconds later. Yeah, but this is what it is. You have to adapt with the players that we have. And the other ones, they give us something that maybe Rodri don't have, you know? Or maybe one cannot do it, we we'll put two players. Maybe we'll help, you know, to do the process what they had to do. And that, when's going to happen? When I'm going to see game, my game, my game, and see mm -mm, what happened. Maybe we'll be late because we're going to lose a lot of games. I don't know.
but at the end we are yeah five fixtures we play no five games no we play five games already no in Premier League is uh, still 33 right 33, eh? 33 left games 99 points so a lot of things going to happen Pep obviously it's a, a very serious injury for Rodri like you said I, I presume you've spoken to him this week and how, how is he feeling well I spoke with him before yeah two days ago before Watford and yeah it was a bit sad but in the same time okay we're going to do it uh, it's happened and what I said when a game like in Arsenal, in Arsenal game and he make the gesture you know to go out knowing Rodri that had to be something dangerous otherwise he's stubborn he would have stayed in the pitch so when he went out it's because he felt something that just the players felt it always were optimistic that the fact okay will be Maybe less, but unfortunately, it was the worst. And and yeah, I'm going. You spoke a little bit about Rico uh, Lewis earlier, stepping into that position. Obviously, he's played a number of positions for you. What does that say about his intelligence that he can, you know, play in that sitting role as well as play at fullback? And... Never play as a alone, but alongside to yeah, one always play good and in positions more advanced like attacking midfielder pocket. It's one of the best that we have and. And so far, so except Arsenal game, a few more games he played in 45 minutes seconds against Brentford, uh, played all the minutes, and always have been the best. So that's why it's, I say no, the replacement for Rodri Rico, no. <laughs> it's impossible. But he gave us something alongside to Koba, or alongside to, to John, to Manu, with Gundo. And then we can do things that maybe, maybe can work. We see. Last two guys, one each for Sam and Michael, please. I bet. Have the players done the vote for the captaincy yet? And if so, could you tell us who's in the... Yeah, the Kyle is the captain, Bisa captain, uh, uh, Kevin, uh, Ruben, Rodri, Bernardo, Gundo. So six players. Yeah, because it was tight. It was two tights. You're going to end up with 11. No, for me it doesn't matter. As much as much they have, less problems we will have. Um, back on the injuries, you, you've had three pretty significant injuries already this season. Obviously, Nathan, Oscar, and now Rodri. You didn't, you haven't had many injuries over the last couple of years, and we've spoken a lot about the number of games, the impact on the players. Do you think this is already a sign of the number of games players have had in the last couple of years? You know, the muscular injuries, like maybe this one is maybe my concern. This is the trauma from 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 Oscar and the trauma in Rodri's. You know, it depends because of the fatigue, for the tire, for Oscar was not tired, you know, that is an action within the training session. So I would say Mo is unlucky, but uh but yeah, I think all the clubs, you know, in general have a lot. But yeah, it's where it is. So we accept that and go. Thank you guys. Thank you guys.